Hey everybody, it's Quinn. Thanks so much for clicking that link to come and watch my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and like below. Today we're doing something different. If you've ever read my channel description, then you'll know that I don't want to just talk about external beauty. I want to talk about internal beauty as well. I want to talk about topics and things and ideas of what truly makes a person beautiful that thing that just makes people radiate you know and for me personally a big one is are you a kind person so today I'm coming to you relatively naked faced and um, I did my eyebrows hours ago but that's cool because you know what makes us beautiful isn't on the outside it's on the inside and at the end of my videos, I always say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and stay beautiful. So clearly for me, kindness is very important. And now, what does kindness actually mean? I feel like I should have brought out a dictionary for this one. So, uh, reading this definition here, they are using the word kind itself in the definition, which just proves that it's a very hard thing to define. So I'll let y'all go ahead and read that there. So kindness is a, a big one for a lot of people. And uh, even when it comes down to what kindness really means, is it your actions, your words, your thoughts, a combination of all of it? Um, this is a weird, one-way conversation to have <laughs> so please leave your your thoughts and comments below on this one to me kindness is very closely related to the hope for overall goodness in the world and how you plan on contributing to that whether it be as simple as smiling to a stranger saying hello, acknowledging other people. It's so weird these days because most neighbors don't even know one another anymore. Like, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but in my personal experience, you'll see your neighbors and you'll kind of wave high and by if you're lucky in passing. And a lot of times, I find if, if I don't initiate that hello, no one says hi. And just acknowledging another human being and showing that, hey, I see you, hi, that is the simplest, easiest form of kindness to me. And I love it when I'm out and someone smiles at me and says hi or or a head nod even and just that simple acknowledgement I definitely understand like people are crazy and you don't want to say hi to like a crazy person and invite crazy into your life but most most of us aren't crazy we see all this stuff on on the news and it scares people and you know fear fear is a good thing because it'll help you to survive obviously that's how we've made it this far we listen to our fears we're listening to ourselves what we've been taught what we believe um and the news they they know that that's why they they pump out all the horror stories so that you'll listen because of you believe your survival depends upon it that fear can really interrupt our kindness because if you're too afraid to like approach someone or get in a conversation or, or whatever for whatever reason then aren't you just hindering 
a possible experience where you can bring some light and some brightness to another human. People that are already part of your life, making sure you're taking the time to get to know them because loving one another is so important. And you know, the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. But my issue with that is not everyone wants to be loved the same. So you've got to take the time out to get to know someone so you can learn how to properly love them. And I'm not talking just romantic. I'm talking friends, family, your kids, your dog, your cat, whatever, whoever, whatever you love. Get to really know them. Ask them the questions. Don't just assume. Y'all know what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me and then ain't nobody happy everyone's all mad so talk to people talk get off your phone like i'm real guilty of it these days especially i'm always on my phone for something or another it's my place away from my kids <laughs> but I, I used to not ever really be on my phone and i was much more interested in what was really going on around me but now it feels like everything that's going on around me is everyone's in their phone and that's not a bad thing either because you can use your phone for a lot of good you can spread awareness social media you know networking you you could be doing a lot more than it looks from the outside i don't know what you're doing in your phone but just make sure that you're taking the time to get to know the people around you, the people that are important to you, and show them that you really appreciate them. Ask those hard questions. Back to, you know, the love thy neighbor as yourself. That's really hard too, because a lot of people don't even know how to love themselves. Don't be afraid to be kind. Don't be afraid to love yourself. And when you don't know how to love yourself and you feel like no one else loves you, you know, if you're like me, just know that God loves you. It's a deep, unconditional love. And once you feel that love for yourself, that's when you can really start giving it freely and wonderfully and like i said it's something i'm still working on but i hope this helps somebody you're loved i love you i love everybody those are my thoughts for today don't let fear control you be kind you know be kind to yourself be kind to others and stay beautiful that's the motto here right <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> Bye.